Hello, my name is Mark and welcome to I'm Organic Gardening located in Zone 6B in the state of New Jersey. And I've got great news for you. Something you've never seen on YouTube before. How to stop snails and slugs and cutworms from getting to your young tender plants by just using a free two liter soda bottle or water bottle. So here's some items I have set up that we're gonna need for this hack. They're sitting inside my uh, bucket on my tractor here. Now we're gonna need two bottles, which are two liters each and they're plastic. We're gonna need a tape measure, scissors, and a magic marker. So I set the bottle inside a plastic tray, and you'll see in a little bit why I did that. So I'm gonna take a magic marker and measure from the bottom of the bottle where it starts being flat here, and then measure up six inches, like so, to my other mark here. And that's the length that we need right now. So now I'm just going to take my magic marker and lay it on the tray, that's what the tray's for, where my mark is here, and just spin the bottle so I have it even six inches all the way around. And I'm also going to do that on the bottom of the bottle also, and spin it around in the tray. Now I'm going to measure an inch down from that top line, and also spin the bottle so it's all the way around the bottle. Now we have three lines, one at the bottom, one up about five inches and the other one at six inches. Now with our scissors here, we're gonna cut the bottom and top line only, the six inch mark one. So this is what it looks like when we're done. We have the bottom cut off and the top cut off and we still have our one inch mark line from our top here to here. Now what we're gonna do with that one inch top line here is real simple and this is what keeps the slugs at bay. We're just going to cut from this top area here to that one inch line, no further. And we're just going to cut like maybe, let's say every quarter inch or so to that line down. And we're just gonna make little separate cuts in here, right down the line, like so. And what this does is that we can fold these out like this in the future. And this is what's gonna stop our snails and slugs, when they're gonna crawl up the side, they're gonna hit this barrier and they can't cross over it. Now there's more to this, and just uh, stay tuned with me here, and we'll go a little bit further. I'm gonna cut all these around here and I'll be right back with you. So I'm done cutting everything. You can see that I bent it down to at least a 90 degree angle from the bottom of the plastic bottle here. And they stick out, like I said, about an inch, these little less tabs or fringes here. Now, I've done research over the years and tried this several times, and I used to just leave this alone. And it was very effective. But every so often, snails are very clever. They would climb up and then go around this edge, and they would flip over this edge. Now, I came into a roadblock here, and it says, wow, they are very clever, and it's hard to stop them from going inside the container here. But now, this is where I've worked on it for the last couple years. Instead of just leaving it like this, and that's what the other soda bottle is for, we're gonna place two more of these rings extending upwards, and that's where it stops all our insects from getting in there, our snails, our slugs, and cutworms. So on our second soda bottle, we're gonna mark here at our starting point, and then we're gonna measure up several lines here. We're gonna measure this time at We're gonna measure at two inches, three inches, five inches, and six inches. And we're only gonna cut at the three inch line and the six inch line. And again, we're gonna spin the bottle around and do those markings. So when we're done, we should have five lines. One, two, three, four, five. And this is the starting point. It's up uh, two inches, then three inches, and then go a little bit more here to five inches and six inches. Now we're gonna cut the top and the bottom off and also cut off at, and cut into it here at the uh, three inch line. Now we have two pieces that are three inch tall with another mark here that we cut down from the top to this one inch line, about a quarter inch all the way around, just like we did in the beginning. So let's do that. Now we have the two other rings done. Now with these, you don't wanna bend the tabs all the way flat to 90 degrees. You wanna leave them up a little bit, about just a little bit past the nine degrees. And the other one here, you want them to even go out a little bit further. You're creating more of a fan here. So you're not gonna leave them go up 90 degrees, you're gonna bend them inwards like so. Now we have all three sections done. 
So we're just simply going to take the smaller ones and place it in the larger one all the way down so we have all those fringes. So let me assemble it and I'll show you how it's done. So here's our finished product now that's going to stop our slugs and snails and cutworms. Now, what we have here is our first level, the green level, comes out at 90 degrees. Then we have the second container we pushed in there and those tabs go up just a little bit taller. Now we don't push that plastic bottle all the way down. We leave about another quarter inch from the top of the other plastic bottle and then we put the third level in which is here and those go up, those tabs go up a little bit taller. You can see here that all the tabs are just like little spikes and there's no way a snail can climb up the side of this to here and transverse over the top. All these spikes are going to stop that snail's bottom part of that snail from sticking to anything and it's going to deter it from uh, going any further. Now to simply install this in your garden around your tomato plant, now you can plant your seedlings in the middle and you want to bury this about two inches deep. You just take this, the open end on the bottom here, and just slide over your tomato plant and you're all set. So now we're just going to take our tomato plant here, fold our leaves upwards, slide it over the top, pull it through, and go down all the way to the base, like so. Now we have our container in the ground at least two inches. We keep, and then we're going to stop all those snails and slugs from getting up there. Now just be careful, you don't want any leaves to hang over that edge. You're better off tucking them inside or just removing them. And this way if the leaves are hanging over, that slug will get in there to the middle of your stem. So I hope you enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you again shortly with another exciting video. Thanks.